What's going on, everybody? It's Boy Long Island Fish Guy here. Sorry for the glare, but this is just a quick video. So, I've realized that when the light is on in this tank, uh, my shovel nose typically does not come out. He's only typically out when. Well, this might be a good time to basically explain this, but. I actually have. This is my basement. I have two windows, one there and one there. As you can see, we have curtains. What I do during the day, and typically what I do here at night, is it's right now feeding time, so everyone's just getting the grub down. Uh, what I typically do is at night, I put the curtains down so that the fish basically have a real schedule as to what the wild would be like. This basement gets pretty bright down here. Um, the biggest you know, grunt of the light comes to these two tanks. Uh, a little preview as to what this tank's gonna look like, the little 10 gallons, I'm going a little home improvement there. Um, but what, so the shovel nose is always out uh, during the day. Um, I typically need to come down here before I go to work and put some food in this tank uh, to feed him because when these, both of these lights are on, he's nowhere to be found. He typically likes to hide up by the outtake of my canister filter up there, which you kind of cannot see right now. So I want to run a little experiment. I turn off the light in this tank before I fit any tank. I fed my 10 gallon, fed the 29 gallon, and lo and behold, look who came out to play. My shovel nose, and look at his belly. He is a big time eater, and he gorges himself. Uh, it's, he, I, I, I kind of, wow. He looks pregnant. Um, you know, I kind of uh, questioned if he would make it in this tank. If you remember from my m earlier, earlier videos, maybe two or three months ago, my Jaguar, which is no longer in this tank, destroyed the shovel nose and I was like I don't know if he's gonna be able to make it ever do him in a 10 gallon quick he not only is surviving but I think he's thriving in this tank I love this is my, my one of my favorite fish um, he's owning things in this tank you know he sometimes goes in the flower pots and he'll hang with the rest of the cichlids in this tank um, he's a v very very predatorial fish in the wild. Um, they're known for eating fish half their size. Um, you know, 60% their size. Which is pretty big for a fish uh, with a mouth like that. But uh, my experiment actually worked. Because um, I want to kind of try and not feed the tank twice per day. I kind of just want to do once per day feedings. And uh, I've been having to feed twice. And I feel like I'm overfeeding the tank because of it. Um, so I'm kind of happy that I'm figuring this out. He's, you know, and not only is he hide, like, you know, out in the light, he's not hiding. You know, he could easily be um, staying over on this side of the tank, but he's not. Um, looks like nobody really is. Uh, you know, fish are basically swimming back and forth, but these fish like the light. Um, I've noticed that. If you notice, everyone's staying here. In this corner, but um, this is just a quick update on my shovel nose because I know he doesn't really get a lot of camera uh, camera action. But um, here he is, great fish, super. I mean, at least I'm not sure when you know the rest of America or the rest of the world, but this kind of fish is kind of rare um, in my area, at least. Um, I had to call every local fish store in my area to try and find and locate him. And luckily I did. He was super small, but, uh, and expensive for the price for such a small fish, but I had to have him. But that's it for this video. Just wanted to, again, give a little update on my shovel nose for anyone who's wondering. There he is. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Peace.